Hey, I'm Maggie with Family Frugal Fun. I run a bargain blog and I wanted to talk to you today about couponing 101. Now I do something called extreme couponing and that's when I gather as many coupons as I can get and I take them to as many stores as I can and I get tons and tons of free stuff. You may or may not want to do that, but let me tell you a little bit about coupons and what you can do. First of all, um, my niece is getting ready to move into a new home. She's really excited about it. And I wanted to bless her with the few toiletries and things for her house because these are the things that when you're starting out as a young couple, they can be really expensive to purchase. So if you look over here at all of the things that I've gotten, I've gotten them all for free and it's going to be a really nice basket or housewarming gift that I'm going to be giving to her. Now, every Sunday in the Sunday newspaper, you're going to get coupons, and I want to just talk to you about that. They're simple, they're easy to follow. Um, the first one you usually get is Smart Source. This is what it looks like. So when you see the blog and it says from the SS, that's this one, it's Smart Source. Um, your next batch of coupons comes from Procter and Gamble. Um, these are great, great coupons. Some of the times they're really high value. Um, for this one, for instance, there's a coupon in here that makes it so that this beauty bar is completely free at Target. And there's also another coupon in here for $5 off an Olay, um, which makes that free if you buy a trial size secret. There are just a lot of great coupons in here. You'll want to take advantage of that too. This is Red Plum RP. That's what you'll see in the blog for the initials. Now, this is an old insert from, oh, maybe about a month ago, but it's a play saver insert. These are my favorite. These are toy coupons, and they're filled with great, great things. When you stack these up with a sale at Toys R Us, say for instance, or Target or Walmart, places that sell toys, you can get the toys really cheap, and it makes it nice if you have to um, bring a gift to a child's birthday party that you were unexpectedly invited to, and you don't want to spend too much money. This is a General Mills insert. These, in my opinion, seem to come out a little bit less than once a month. The Procter & Gamble usually comes out once a month. And Smart Source and Red Plum generally come out every single week. Now, it's going to be important that you find a newspaper every Sunday to purchase that has all of your inserts in it. Um, I try to get the Baltimore Sun, the Washington Post, the Evening Capital, once in a while, the Star Democrat. Usually the Star Democrat doesn't carry all of the coupon inserts. Now I realize that you may live where the Philadelphia Inquirer is or somewhere across the country. So it's going to be important that you check to make sure your paper has all the coupons. There are also other places that you can get great coupons. I highly recommend All You Magazine. I've got a link to it on my blog. You can only find this magazine in Walmart or online. When they say they've got um, $94.50 worth of coupons, they're not kidding. And they're usually good high value coupons. This magazine is also full of great tips for um, bargain shopping and bargain planning for meals. <clears throat> Here's a coupon book that came out um, a couple of months ago at Safeway. It was free, you just pick it up. Here's another one that came out at Safeway, the $70 in savings book. With everything in this book, I was able to score free Coffee Mate flavored creamers. I also got Lean Pockets for 49 cents a piece and a lot of other bargains. Now this comes in the mail to me from Acme. Um, I get this because I've registered my Acme card online. And this is $10 off a $100 order, so what I do that week is buy $100 worth of groceries. First thing I do is scan this card. After I scan this card, then I scan all my coupons. Usually for every $100 that the average family spends, my family only spends about $25 because I'm such a great bargain frugal shopper. Now, um, you can also print coupons off online. Um, this one's for a dollar off the Oscar Mayer carving board meats. It's a new product, so anytime a new product comes out, they're going to come out with good high-value coupons. I have the links for all these online. If you're worried about the ink, what you do is just stop your printer right here. When I'm printing multiple coupons, I do that as well. So I hope this is helpful to you. It teaches you a little bit about where to find coupons and what to do. This is a great video if you're just starting out. Some people ask me how many newspapers they should purchase each week. Um, the answer to that is as many people in your family are as many papers as you should buy. So if you're a mom and dad and have two kids, you need four newspapers. Because 
If you get, let's face it, these were free a few months ago from a coupon in the newspaper. If you get one of these, that's great. It'll last a little while. But if you're able to buy four of those, you can develop a stockpile. I literally have hundreds of items. I'm getting ready to make a large donation next week because I have more than my family could ever use. And we're very lucky to have that. When people think of coupons, some people think of lack, but really it's about abundance. It's hard for people to stockpile six months of cash in times of an emergency, like um, say Dave Ramsey or Susie Ormond recommend you do. But what you can do is stockpile toilety, toiletries and groceries and have all that in case of an emergency. So you don't have to keep purchasing those items and can save money. If you have more questions, send me an email or um, come to one of my couponing seminars. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you, and thanks for coming. Bye-bye.